Even Mayor Gabe Brown announced last week he would resign, with council investigating possible improper spending and misuse of the city's credit card. He hadn't turned in his official resignation as of late Monday, however, and it's not the first time his spending has been questioned. Barb Farrow is a longtime Walton resident who served on city council in 2019 and 2020. She recalls questioning about $200 of Brown's expenses for a trip out of town. I retired from IRS, so I kind of know what is approved, what's allowed and not allowed as far as government goes. So some of the charges that um, Gabe had put on a trip that he had taken, I questioned. Brown promised his resignation at a meeting Wednesday night when council announced its intention to investigate his credit card use. Local 12 obtained those credit card bills and court records. They were part of a separate open records lawsuit. Monday, Council Member Terry Courtney texted me that investigation began with more open records requests. She also says impeachment is still an option if Brown doesn't resign at some point, saying he needs to be a man of his word. She also pointed out Brown still had possession of the city-owned SUV. Local 12 verified it was still in his driveway Monday afternoon. I asked Brown via text whether he would resign or turn in the city vehicle. He responded but did not answer either question nor agreed to an interview. Meanwhile, Farrell says she hopes the situation is resolved soon for the sake of the city. If he's done things that he shouldn't be doing, then yes, it's going to give the city a, a bad name. In Walton, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. It could be censured at a special city council meeting that's planned for Wednesday. The city's population is about 3,000 people but has grown significantly in the last five years. It has a strong mayor form of government with the mayor also acting as the chief executive or city manager. There were no rules in regards to oversight of the credit card until last Wednesday when council passed a new ordinance requiring receipts and other information to be turned in for approval. Thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.